Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your week ahead for April 15th through the 21st. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to use the Celtic Cross today. I'm going to go back to my other one whenever I feel like it. And anyway, so we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to go around one time. I'm going to tell you what I see. Then I'm going to go around again. Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? Nine of Cups reversed. Dissatisfaction. You're not happy. You're not happy right now, Gemini. You're not happy with a certain situation. You may have received a message that you didn't want to hear or no message at all. You may not be getting the communication that you desire or you received a message or something that you didn't want to hear and now you're not happy. Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody may be thinking about walking away from a situation, thinking about, you know, putting it to a halt. Um, maybe you're feeling misjudged. Maybe you have been misjudged. Maybe you're sick of walking on eggshells. Maybe you have been walking on eggshells. Maybe you've been criticized, maybe overly criticized, and now your guard is up. Something like that. You may be in defense mode because you could be dealing with a child or somebody... Maybe somebody younger than you, I don't know, somebody that has a childlike mentality, put it that way, that is causing you to be defensive, putting you on guard. Um, and I feel like you definitely are, now you web, you're in some sort of web, okay? Maybe you're in a web of lies. Maybe you're dealing with a, an immature individual who does nothing but lie. And whoever this person is, they're causing uh, you some mental conflict. They're, they're, they really are. You're dealing with somebody who may not be telling you the truth. Maybe you know it. And, you know, maybe you're stuck in this lie and you're trying to break free. Uh, I feel like there's definitely some, like, feeling trapped. Like, you're, how did you get yourself into this mess? You know, you may be feeling trapped. Uh, oh, the devil. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh. uh, there's this is this is temptation this is this is uh lust it's uh obsession it's it's ego it's greed um this is in the future and this is also the sign of capricorn you may be tempted we're gonna have to get another card to go with this we're gonna go back around in a minute but this is temptation i'm seeing it as being tempted to do something Four of Swords reverse. Now this is a awakening. So you guys may be waking up from your slumber. You may be going through some sort of awakening. Mm, we need to get another card before I get ooh. <laughs> oh God. You guys are definitely stuck on a situation. I think that you're you maybe have some you may have some divided loyalty here. You may be torn in between two directions. Maybe you, you need to choose who you're going to be loyal to in a situation. You may have a, to choose between, just for example, a partner and a child or something like that. I don't know. Um, or the, your partner, the person that you're dealing with. There could be issues with the children. I don't know where that's coming from, but... You know, the devil is typically a toxic situation, a bad habit, something that isn't good for you. It's in the future. You may be, you may be tempted to uh, do something. We definitely need to get another card for that one. But I feel like right now you're really afraid. You're afraid, you're afraid of being taken advantage of. You're afraid of taking a risk. You may be afraid of... of What's going to happen next? You know, maybe you just don't trust. You don't have faith in a situation anymore. Maybe you're afraid of, of what, how, what, what's to come, you know. I feel like you, 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 you may be uh, you know, really taking your time to decide as to what you're going to do, how you're going to handle a situation. I think you're dealing with some conflict in your life that involves another person, probably two people, and you're trying to figure out, 
you know, how to handle this the best way. You may be taking a step back, you know, to just think about, you know, what is the best route to take here? How can I handle this the best way? You know, um, I feel like right now you may be biding some time. You may be indecisive, but you're definitely going through some, some mental turmoil right now, some emotional turmoil. Um, I feel like you're definitely being emotionally guarded, and I think you're being guarded because maybe somebody has some addictions and, and they lie to you, you know, and they're keeping it a secret, and you know they're keeping it a secret, you know, and it's just causing a bunch of freaking problems in your life. So you could be dealing with, with a person that, you know, is nothing but bad news and you don't know how to handle the situation, just saying. It's a lose-lose situation, and I think that you've, you've probably, it's been bringing a lot of conflict to your life. Mental conflict, for sure. It's like mental torture. I think that, you know, you're, you're ready to, you know, you don't want to do this anymore, right? It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to, I want to, I want to feel good. I don't want to stay in the same spot. Let's go back around. Um, the challenge is communication and doing the right thing you know that's your challenge I think you're definitely really dissatisfied you probably have lost faith you've lost faith you've lost hope in a situation I feel like uh, you may be going against you know maybe there's some some legal issues here that are happening because of a child or another person they're causing legal issues in your life which has made you really upset because now you're stuck in the middle looks like you are stuck in the middle something is bringing you backwards i think that you may be trying to take control of a situation no matter what you do you're having a hard time doing it because you're dealing with somebody who's it's like you're up against I don't know. You're up against something. Maybe you're up against the government or you're up against uh, the law. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn, it's really hindering you. I think that um, you know, there's some some bad luck here, and I think that you know you're 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 dealing with a person that's bringing it into your life. You know, it's like they're just really bringing you backwards. Um, Somebody is probably needing to go within and, and really needs to take all the time that they need to think about, you know, how they can handle this situation. Don't rush it. If you need more time to think about how you're going to handle this, take all the time that you need, okay? Maybe you need to go within to, to really, really, really focus on the situation and what the best outcome is, you know? Um... It's time. It's time for it's time for time out per se. It's time for you to step back and just, you know, really look at the whole picture from everybody's perspective and do your best to um, take back your power. Okay, so I feel like you guys are in the process of of taking back your power. You're trying to take back your power, right? It's like you're trying, and you may be dealing with a serious manipulator here, somebody that is really good with their words. They can lie themselves out of any situation, you know, and I feel like you, you're probably needing to really go within to find your ability to, you know, look at this situation as clearly as possible. You know, I, 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 I feel like you guys, um, are trying to take actions. Like you're really trying to fix a situation. You know, you're trying to make everybody happy. Whew. Maybe you just got to let go. Maybe you just got to let go of this person to bring success to your life. You, you know, maybe that's what you're thinking about doing. Maybe you're thinking about cutting this person out of your life. Maybe it's like, you know what, I got to find all that strength and that willpower and that discipline and that uh, inner knowledge, all anything. I got to find the, 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 the message, you know, the information, you know, it's like digging deep. I feel like you got to dig, 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 dig deep to 
figure out the solution. So really take all the, you need, probably need a little bit more time. Okay. What I'm saying is don't make an impulsive decision. Take the time that you need before you, uh, let whatever this is go. I think you are definitely thinking about let, letting probably a person go or letting somebody go from your life. Could be a child, you know, it could be a grown up child, you know, or a teenager, or who knows, that is causing a lot of upheaval. And I feel like there's love here. It's like you love this person a lot. I see, I see love here, but they've caused so much instability. And they may be, they, maybe they're a thief. I don't know. Maybe they got a drug habit or something. I don't know what this is, but. Somebody may have a drug habit, a drug issue, and it's costing a lot of money, and it's causing upheaval. Anyway, I just feel like you are in the process of, you know, do you need to, do you need to cut this person from your life to be successful? And it's a, it's a tough decision. It is a very stressful, painful decision. So I think that you are in the process of making a painful, stressful decision as to whether you want to make cut somebody out of your life that is bringing, you know, stress. I feel like there's lack of discipline um somebody may not respect their mother okay there could be a lack of respect um somebody may not respect their mother and it's causing um problems drama drama in the family i feel as though you know there there could be some anger there could be some some uh You know, Gemini, you may need to step outside of your, your, if you're being stubborn, you know, you're not, and you're not seeing things, if you're not seeing it from the other person's perspective, you got to let your guard down a little bit. Maybe you, and I know that's hard, I think that you're really, really in protective mode, I think that you're really in defensive mode, you may, you're probably very suspicious. You're probably very suspicious of another individual, and I think it's because, and I think that you're, you're correct. Whatever you're suspicious about, I think that you're correct. This person may have turned your life upside down, you know, your mental, your mental life for, for, for sure. You know, the way you think, you know, your thoughts, your, your ability to, you know, be, remain calm. They, you know, they, you're, you're probably not feeling really calm, at the, or you haven't been. I think this person has really caused some sort of, strife okay i think you're dealing with an individual who has really pushed your buttons to a really huge point okay um now you guys are stuck the eight of swords you're stuck you're stuck in some sort of trap but this this three of wands is be prepared because something is coming. Something is coming. Something is arriving. Oh, five of cups. This is disappointment. Disappointment. Be prepared. There's more disappointment coming. Oh, God. No, we don't want to hear that. Be prepared. There's more disappointment coming. I, I mean... Maybe maybe you don't realize that there's something better. There's another opportunity here. There is another opportunity. Somebody is concentrating on the pain and the suffering and the hurt. And maybe, you know, if you just act with love. And I know that, you, I know that I'm not saying that you're not acting with love. But um, <laughs> follow your intuition. Go within. It has the answers. The answers, the answers are within you. I can see that there's grieving here, and I think there's grieving because it's like watching. It's like it's almost like you're watching somebody destruct, and you may be be grieving their the loss, you know, because they're not seeing that you love them. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. But I feel as though you have the power, for sure, with the Magician and the High Priestess. You have the power right now to do something to heal the situation. That's love heals. Love heals. So, you know, with, with and that, it's funny that I mentioned that earlier I said something about healing or, or it's about love I, when I when we saw this card love heals so there's an opportunity to work with this person whoever it is if you can really 
open up your heart to them more than you ever have before. Like go above and beyond in the love arena. You know, support them even if it hurts. And I know that's hard. But that is, it is hard. I feel like somebody is, is needing to make a decision. It's a difficult choice. Definitely. Definitely. There's a choice here. There's, there's no doubt that we have a choice on the table here. And it's a choice in regards to do I cut this person out or not. There's probably not a whole lot of reciprocation. You're not getting what you deserve from this person or this person's not giving anything. It's like they've turned everything upside down. It's like they're not, they're probably not reciprocating or, or they're giving you crumbs. They're not bringing balance. They're causing disharmony in your life. I feel as though they're definitely keeping you stuck and you definitely need to make a decision. And that's where you're at, right? You need, you need to make some sort of decision. I feel like whoever you're dealing with has has fear. They 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 are they're fearful. I think this person um, is doesn't plan very well. I feel like this person um, may not um, be telling the whole truth about a situation. This person um, has a lot of self doubt. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this person is is cho choosing you know, the safe route when they could, you know, open up. It's like they're just trying to, there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear, fear of change, fear of, of not getting what they deserve or not getting anything. They're, they're, we have somebody, whoever you're dealing with, they have some sort of bad habit or they have some sort of addiction or they have some sort of, um, could be even self-sabotage. They could be self-sabotaging themselves. It's like there's something that you don't know about them, or you maybe you do know about it, that is hindering their progress. It's like they're reluctant to move forward because they may think that they don't have enough to offer. I don't know. Wow. They're not very balanced in their life. Whoever you, they have lack confidence. They lack confidence. You are dealing with a person that lacks confidence. They lack, you know inner strength for some reason you know they it's like they've lost their will for some reason they've lost their will they've lost they, it's like they don't have a lot of ambition and it's because it's because of their own you know the things that they do <laughs> I feel like they they may have some sort of addiction that is holding them back from being successful whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, there's there's no satisfaction, there's no wish fulfillment. There's this person has probably given up hope. This person probably doesn't believe in miracles whoever you're dealing with. They might not believe. They they may um It's like they lack they, they they lack faith. They definitely don't have a lot of faith. And that's it is too bad. It is too bad. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is is really insecure with themselves. And that's why they're they're causing so many <clears throat> struggles for you because of their insecurities. So it hinders the partnership because they're so insecure. So I feel like you're dealing with an individual who, you know, probably does want to ha be have wish fulfillment with you you know they want to heal the situation they want to make it work but they can't because of some sort of addiction or something that they're holding on to um they probably see think that you are very attractive they probably think that you are very confident they probably see that you know You're, they probably think that you're beautiful. They probably think that you know you're 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 very passionate. They see your ability. They see your strength. They do. Whoever you're dealing with does see your strength, and they they are probably they may be a little intimidated. They may be a little bit intimidated, and that's why they're reluctant to work with you. I don't know. Now, this is 
awaken, awakening, you know, waking up from your slumber. The Three of Cups reversed is dashed expectations. So maybe it's letting go of your expectations. Maybe your expectations are set too high on this person. You know, maybe this person is still clinging to the past. Maybe they've, they, maybe, maybe they've been wounded by their past, you know, and maybe that's why they can't move forward. I don't know. I feel like we have somebody here that is clinging to memories of the past, a, a loss, and they haven't, you know, they're on the process of waking up and they're in the process of coming out of this period of stagnation, but they haven't completely done it yet. They're in the process of making a decision, taking back their power. So I think we have somebody here that is taking back their power. They're making a lot, trying to be logical, and they're trying to, you know, do the right thing. I think that we have somebody who thinks they're doing the right thing. They think they're doing the right thing. So you're dealing with a person who thinks they're doing the right thing, or it could be you doing the right thing. You know, be solid, be firm, make a decision, and when you make the decision, stick to it. Stick to it. Okay? Don't budge. Okay? Um, you're dealing with somebody who is very unbalanced, to somebody that you know, is on this roller coaster where it's up and down and up and down and up and down. So like one day you, they might be all positive and all talky-talky and the next day they're like, whew, no talk, no communication. I feel like, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is really battling. They're battling with themselves. They're going through a lot of power struggles. They're going through a mental conflict, a lot of their own mental conflict. And they probably definitely have some sort of addictions that are, that are hindering their 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 ability to evolve, their ability to heal from a situation. We we have somebody here that is probably, you know, having these extreme highs and lows because I don't know why. Because they're so conflicted with who they are. Maybe they've been belittled. Maybe they've been belittled in the past, and they haven't healed from that. You know how we like to bring our pain on to others. You know, I, I, I just, I feel like we have somebody that really lacks their own inner harmony. They're really, they really have their guard up. We have somebody here that is really afraid to let their guard down. You're dealing with somebody who is in fight mode. They're like, don't, don't, don't hurt me. Don't you hurt me. You know, that's what they're thinking. They're afraid they're going to get hurt. So they're in protection protection mode. They are. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have everybody here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. We have quite a bit of Earth here. Um, we have Gemini again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I see, I haven't seen water though. We have Leo. Yeah, I don't see a lot of water here. So, you know, we have Capricorn. This is Capricorn. This is Capricorn. This is Capricorn. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but whoever you're dealing with, you have Sagittarius quite a bit. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Anyhow, um, whoever you're dealing with is not focused. They're not constant. They're not in the right state of mind. They're probably ungrounded. They may be very suspicious as well. Whoever you're dealing with is very um, focused on their money. They're focused on their home. They're focused on their job. They're focused on... Um, Everything but it looks like a relationship. You know what I mean? You're probably dealing with somebody who is so unbalanced in their own life. Maybe they've made some poor fi financial de decisions. If this, this could just, the person you're dealing with may have made some serious poor financial uh, decisions because of their own addictions. And now, 
you know, they have their guard up. And now they've brought a lot of conflict into their life and power struggles because they made some poor financial decisions. And now they have this, they're at this, ex maybe they're at this extreme low. We could have somebody here, you know, that acts on a whim and spends all their money and then they, you know... <laughs> They're at a complete loss because all their money's gone. I don't know. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who makes poor decisions and it's it's hindering you in some way. Um, the outcome is the fool reversed, the three of swords reversed. This is healing. This is forgiveness. The fool reversed, though, that's that's naive. That's somebody who's been naive. That's somebody who's been taken advantage of. Maybe it's be forgiving. Maybe maybe you forgive. You know, that's a hard one, isn't it? May, you know, and there you are, right? There you are, needing to look at things from a new perspective. Be open. Try to try to see things from a new perspective. Be objective about the situation. You know, maybe whoever you're dealing with is still healing from a situation where they were taken advantage of. <laughs> you know, you got to look at things from, from the other person's side. I feel like you guys are, maybe you're being a little too harsh. Maybe you, you need to be more, um, understanding. I feel like if you op if you offer love, you know, and you and you offer this person emotional support, really, really, really offer love. That's a big deal here. You know that if you really, really, really just overextend yourself, and I know you're like, fuck no. You know, I understand. Okay, I'm Gemini cusp. I'm Gemini Venus. I'm. It's tough for me. I'm right on May twentieth. Okay, I totally understand. It's hard. It's hard to give love to somebody who makes poor decisions because of their addictions or because of whatever. But I'm telling you, love heals. Love will heal this situation, you know, if you can forgive and be open and, you know, support this person. Um, you know, there's no rush. There's no hurry. Okay, there's no hurry. You don't need to hurry up and, and, and kick this person out of your life. Take your time to think about it. Don't be rash. Try not to be rash. Okay? I feel like you're dealing with an individual who needs you. And you're probably on the verge of giving up because of all the bullshit that they've caused. I feel like love heals. This is what I feel. I feel like love heals. Now, this is you needing to make that... This is the outcome. Right? This is the outcome. You need to make a painful, stressful decision. Are you going to cut this person out of your life or not? There's been a lot of negativity. There hasn't been a lot of growth, right? There hasn't been. There hasn't been a whole lot of happiness here. You know, and I think it's it's because, you know, there's been so many worries. There's been so many um, obstacles in the way. I feel like you you don't know whether you should release or hold on, right? Should I release or that's your choice? I mean, you have the choice to make. Do you release or hold on, you know, to this unhappy situation where there seems to be no growth? Oh, God, the tower. This is unbelievable. You know, I feel like you have an opportunity. This is avoided disaster. You can avoid a bigger disaster this is holding on. This is holding on. Oh, the emperor reversed. Let go of control. There's anger. I understand that there's anger and you may be trying to control this person. It's out of your control. Let the universe take this. This is the universe is in control. Go with the flow. You're dealing with somebody who may not be healed from a situation and they may still be holding on to something that is making them unhealthy or unhappy but it's out of your control it doesn't mean that you shouldn't love them I'm not saying that you don't love them I, I'm sure that you do um, Whew. 
Somebody is holding on to a dead end situation that has made them very unhappy when there's an opportunity to rebuild a new foundation, but there's there's control issues here. There's manipulation issues here. It's like somebody's trying to control. They're wearing a blindfold trying to avoid the truth of a dead end situation. I don't know where this is coming from, but that somebody is in you know, isn't seeing a situation clearly. It's like they're putting on their own little mask because they, for some, it's like self-protection here. Somebody is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again because they've been brought down before by another person who, who uh, probably took advantage of them. So somebody is definitely masking their true feelings, their true emotions by hiding, like hiding behind the curtain. Um, but there is something good this is good news coming in so something is going to change good news is coming you may be receiving some good news or some good information regarding this person that has been holding on to you know the dead end that's causing so much upheaval in their life so there's something good coming so just be sure that it is Anyway, Gemini, I feel like this is a week of you, you know, needing to take a step back, needing to take all, take time, give this person time because I think something is in the process of changing. Something is some love heals, love heals. If you can be, you know, be optimistic, give it, give it another shot, whatever this is, just try to work with this person. I feel like, um, Whoever you're dealing with definitely has some um, addiction issues of some sort. And you may feel like you're going to give up on them. But I feel like this could be overcome with, with some sort of, uh, you know, tender loving care of some sort. Um, you're dealing with an individual who has been... Um, has made some really, really, really poor decisions for sure. This person is is trying to prove, you know, that I don't know why. This person has a lot to prove and I think it's be maybe it's because of their parents. You know, maybe their parents have belittled them and now that you know there's abandonment issues. I don't know. I I really feel like we have somebody here who is self-medicating themselves because of past trauma of some sort and now they've entered your life or they're in your life and it's causing upheaval in your life and you're probably like oh my god this is such a mess how do we fix this we fix love heals somehow that's the answer love heals like don't give up <laughs> that's what i just said right don't give up don't give up on this person this person uh does see you as wish fulfillment, but they don't have the courage or the confidence or the willpower to, you know, give to the situation right now. And I, I think it's, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's like they just don't have the strength, but they see your strength and maybe they need your strength. Maybe they need your help. So is there... There could be a new suitor That's that this is. I don't know for some of you. I think for a lot of you this has to do with children. You know, this person may be stuck because of children. Or you may, there could be a problem being between you, your partner, and your children. Or their children or something like that. I feel like there's no hurry. There's no hurry here. Take your time to think about this. That's a big message right there. Don't rush into making a decision. I see that you have to make a stressful decision. But... Something, something good, some sort of good news is coming. So just, just wait, be patient. And I can see your lack of patience with the temperance card reverse. You may be getting frustrated and impatient with this person because all they want to do is, you know, they bring drama into your life. They bring mental conflict into your life. They're causing you to be suspicious. It's like, man, I don't need this shit. Right? So I feel like you, you need to just be optimistic. <laughs> This, this is, uh, there's no hurry here. Take your time. This could be love. Okay. If it's in regards, if it's not about a child and it's about a partner, this could be, you know, love, but you got to think about, you know, think about those wedding vows for better or worse. 
You might as well start that right from the beginning, from day one in a relationship, for, for, honestly. For better or worse. You could say that with your children as well, honestly. And these are about foundations. Fours are, and I was, when I saw these, I, I saw the foundations instantly, but I wasn't sure how it, how it uh, resonated, but I got it now. To build a strong foundation, you will have to, you're going to have to find, use, use all those resources within you to make it successful. That's what this magician is. Don't just, don't just walk away. You know, go within to come up with the answer to make it successful. If you I mean you are building a foundation, there are going to be good times and there are going to be bad times. So I feel like you have all the resources to make whatever this is successful if you take a time to really think about this. It's almost like give it a chance, yeah. Yeah, things have been out of control. But if you take time to figure out how to handle it, you will get the answer and it can be fixed, whatever it is. Let's get one of these. You deserve love. You are lovable. Forgiving and learning. Interesting. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. And I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. I think there's an opportunity to fix a situation, whether it's with a child or it's with a partner or it's with both. Right now you're in the process of making a choice. I think it's a stressful choice. Whoever you're dealing with has made you stressed. They've caused you a lot of stress. And you're on the verge of giving up. I think you're on the verge of letting go. Because there's something hidden here. There's some sort of secret. You're like, oh, what the hell is up? What's going to happen next? This person is still healing from a situation of some sort. They're trying to prove themselves. And you need. I, I feel like you need to really show them that you're there for them. That you're not going to leave them. And the things will get better. So I don't know who this is for. But that's what I see. Good luck. 